What you are witnessing is the Performance Oar, the world's first face-forward rowing device of its kind that can easily be mounted on most canoes and open kayaks. Inventor and founder, Adele Radwan. As they say, the need is the mother of the invention. As a young man, growing up in Egypt by the Nile River, I had an experience that I will never forget. I'm used to watch a lot of people row in boats, and the boats actually were big wooden boats with heavy oars. The oars were like four by four, not like the oars we have today. But I was so excited about the first time as a young man going to row a boat, I thought I could handle it. And I started rowing, everything was great, until I came to the middle of the Nile, where I discovered that I had no energy. I couldn't come back, I was exhausted, drained out, stuck in the middle of the Nile. So that's when I thought it should be an easier way of rowing. But it wasn't until 2012, where we were hit by Hurricane Sandy, if you recall. Hurricane Sandy hit us here in Jersey, actually my home was affected by it. But tons of other homes were destroyed and gone, and Hurricane Sandy left other homes flooded with no electric power, energy. We lived actually like cavemen for a couple of days. And when I thought again, is there a simple technology that delivers mechanical advantages without the need for maintenance, gas, electric, all the other energy resources that we know of? Is there a simple technology that releases stored energy that you can take with you any place, increase or decrease, and this energy will never go away? At this point, I know there was a better way of rowing. And that's when the performance ore was born. The performance ore is actually a few simple invention put together, the working combination together, to deliver to you the best mechanical advantages. I believe the performance ore really will be the new way of rowing. It will invite more people to the water to do more activities just because how easy it is. So, why rowing hasn't been changed for over 5,000 years? I know the answer why people rode boats for 5,000 years backwards. I'll tell you why. Because they wanted to take advantage of their body weight. It's very hard to row a boat just using your muscles and your arm. You will get tired right away. So what they did, after they exhaust all their effort, now they use their body weight and that's why they're going backwards. It's easier than pushing forward. So that's why for 5,000 years we're going backwards. So when I don't have time to go to the beach or a lake or a river to row my canoe, I actually have it right here in the pool. Uh, and that's where I built my first prototype. But what I wanted you to know, uh, the motion of face forward rowing is exact motion like regular rowing, but the opposite way. So you're going this way. I'm going this way instead of pulling this way. So. And again, with, when exercising, people who love to exercise rowing, you're building different muscle because now you're pushing this way, it's not just pulling. So you're building different muscle here, your chest, you will feel way better. And for those who like traditional rowing, my mechanism will make it a lot easier. And also you can add another set of the performance all right here for couple or two people like to row together, you will have a powerful machine. Let me just show you. So let me tell you about the advantages of the performance oar over anything that exists in the market today. Face forward rowing. So would you like to ride your car backwards or your bike or your boat not looking straight ahead, you're driving backwards? I like to go forward and I like to take you with me. Less effort is spent rowing and I tell you why, because of my pattern of course, uh, we have the stored energy. In the, in the bungees or the springs that's been used and we make that energy work for you where you're going to turn the ore into a lever so it will do the work for you you're spending less energy than regular rowing the motion control range device which is a simple rope has figure eight knot in every end of it which is actually very important and it delivers a lot of mechanical advantages it makes your power strokes uniform that means you're going to be going straight line and the most important thing 
It guides your rowing motion. It makes rowing actually much easier. You can turn on a dime in your place 360 degree. Usually it require, any boat will require two engine to do that. And you're still gonna have a bigger circle. But with my invention, performance or will make you turn on a dime 360 degree in place. Comfort and sport rowing. Just like in a car, they have two modes of drive. So for comfort, use one bungee in each side of each oar. For exercise and for more performance, use two bungees in each side of each oar. Easy installation. In few steps, you can put this together. By just, all you need is a drill. You put a couple of holes and you connect the screws and boom. And it fits most canoes and most open kayaks. No maintenance, rugged design, and it's made from aluminum and stainless steel. It's very easy to put on and off. So now I'm going to the beach. I'm going to put the canoe on top of the car. So this is how you do it. You take the pins out, couple of pins out. Take your oar out. Disconnect your springs. Take your oar out. And it folds right in. Same thing with the other one. The other side. You take your springs out. Take your pins out. Take your oar out. And it folds right in. Now I can put it on top of the car very simple and easy. So to all my friends who love and enjoy the water. I want to see all of you in the water. Going forward with me, no more backwards. I want to see you in the water, taking advantage of the performance or enjoying it, having fun with it, exercising. So let it be written, so let it be done.